Hello and welcome to this video which will help you with your ice preparation. This video is about comparing results. So after you've done an experiment in the lab, it's always a good idea to compare your results. So, so this is the experiment that I've just done up here. I've plotted my graph and I get a line that looks like this. Um, some other people in the lab might have also done the experiment. Say so two people got lines that look like this and one person's got a line that looks like this. So this is Primrose's work up here. Let's say this is person A, this is person B and this is person C and Primrose wants to check her results. So she goes and asks A, B and C to have a look at their graphs to see what they got so she can see whether they have a similar pattern. She can see that people A and B do have a similar pattern in their results. This is good. It's always good in an experiment to see that other people have done the same thing as you. And so this tells her that her work is reproducible. Poor old person C down here has a different set of results for everybody else. So what they should probably do is go back, look at their data, check um, that they've plotted that graph correctly, check that they haven't included any anomalous. Hmm. Check that they haven't included any anomalies, any anomalous results, um, and that they haven't made a mistake plotting their graph. And then they probably want to go back and do the experiment again if they haven't. So that's what you should do after you've done your experiments.